In this video, we're going to solve a problem uh, which appeared in JVN 2022. So in this particular problem, it is given that sum of the squares of the reciprocals of the roots alpha beta of a given equation is 15. So that means 1 by alpha square, 1 by beta square is provided and alpha beta the roots of this equation 3x square uh, lambda x minus 1 equal to 0. We need to find out that uh, value of 6 alpha cube beta cube whole square. So therefore, we need to find out the alpha and beta value separately and then process it. So let's go ahead and solve the problem. So now first we consider that it is given alpha beta the roots of the equation 3x square lambda x minus 1. So therefore sum of the roots will be minus b by a. So here it will be b is lambda and a is 3. So it will be minus lambda by 3. And product of the roots is c by a. That's why c is minus 1. So therefore it's minus 1 by 3. And that's it. And also it is given that the sum of the squares of the reciprocals of alpha beta is 15. So therefore 1 by alpha square 1 by beta square is equal to 15. Let's put that as equation number as 1, 2 and 3. Now from this three equation our job is to solve right the values of alpha beta. Now we can proceed with any method. So here we uh, uh, square both sides of the equation 1. So if we square both sides of equation 1 and apply the a plus b whole square formula, we get alpha square beta square to alpha beta is equal to lambda square by 9. Now we divide both sides by alpha square and beta square. So therefore, 1 by beta square and 1 by alpha square plus 2 by alpha beta is equal to lambda square by 9 into 1 by alpha square beta square. Now, if we use the equation number 2 and 3, that means we just replace that alpha 1 by alpha square 1 by beta square by 15 and alpha beta by 1 by 3. So hence, we can get that 15 plus 2, uh, 2 divided by minus 1 by 3 plus equal to lambda square by 9 and 1 by minus 1 by 3 whole square. Very simple. Now we just do the basic calculation. So if I do the basic arithmetic calculation, we get that 15 square minus 6 is equal to lambda square and hence lambda square is equal to 9 and lambda is equal to plus minus 3. So you obtain the value of lambda. Now. So whenever the lambda is obtained, uh, we can easily find out the values of alpha, beta uh, separately. So let's go ahead. Notice that in this particular problem, we are required to find out, we are required to find out the value of alpha cube plus beta cube whole square. So that's why we just cube both sides of equation number one. So if we do so, we find that alpha cube plus beta cube into 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta, the formula of alpha plus beta whole cube is equal to lambda cube by 27. So alpha and beta cube will be kept separately and we know the value of alpha beta which is minus 1 by 3 and alpha plus beta is equal to minus lambda by 3. Okay, lambda is known, we can substitute it here itself but we just keep it as it is. Let's go ahead. So therefore, we say alpha plus uh, alpha cube plus beta cube is equal to minus lambda cube by 27 minus lambda by 3. And after doing little calculation, we get a la, alpha cube plus beta cube in a very simplified form. So therefore, right, uh, we can write down, right, the values of values of alpha cube by plus beta cube now. So therefore, what we need to find out? Alpha cube plus beta cube whole square. So we just square both sides. So therefore, alpha cube plus beta cube whole square is lambda square divided by 27 whole square is equal to uh, lambda square 9 whole square. Now we substitute, right? Lambda equal to plus minus 3. So now lambda square is obviously 9. So we just replace lambda square by 9. So do so. Now if we do the uh, simple calculation, right? We calculate the value as 4. And therefore, 6 times of the required expansion is equal to 24. And that's why for this particular problem, option B is the correct option. And that's it. It's a very simple problem. Only we have to do the calculation a little bit cautiously. So what's the cautious step you have to maintain? This step. See that here I write down for the calculation 9 by 27 whole square. So here to make our calculation simplified as we don't have the uh, option to use the cal calculator. So that's why I write 3 into 18 whole square divided by 27. And then we apply the uh, 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 cancellation of the common terms and then we square it. But if we square first and do the calculation, it takes some more time. So just uh, think about the calculation always when we solve some problem. That's it. So hope you understood the problem. Thank you.